Uh, hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to another tutorial for GPS. So this is how to use the GPS mod. So one thing you have to do is you, when you buy a tractor right now, you need to make sure that you have the global positioning system and you have to purchase that for each tractor um, so that you can actually use the GPS mod. So last thing, one, one thing you have to do before you can even use the GPS mod, you know, get it onto the tractor. So you make sure you have purchased that. So this tractor right here, this John Deere 8400 has the uh, GPS module in it. So let's go ahead and show you how to do it. So right now, the very first thing I have to do is bring up my uh, GPS menu, which is done by control S. So here I have show lines, show snap and terrain angles. Yes. Uh, this is the one we need right now, now to get it started. So we want to use the A, B lines. That's the only option we have at the moment. Uh, this is the beta, of course, so they probably will add that later on. We want the A, B method. So first things first, let's go ahead and get lined up here on the side. So let's kind of gauge where our implement's going to be. So right about there. So let's go ahead and go back into that menu and we'll set an A marker right here and then we'll drive to the, uh, we'll drive to the other side here. So we set our A marker, we're just going to drive to the other side, try and keep as straight as line as possible here. And you'll see that behind you, you have like a line you're drawing, uh, which basically means is you, that's the line they're going to follow basically for the rest of the time. So if we go out to here, okay, that's about straight right there. Let's go to the end. Good. See it all that. Let's go back to the menu, which is control S. It's not showing up on the side over here. Let's see if I can bring it up. Nope, does not bring it up. So let's go ahead and set our B menu there. So now we have our AB line set. So now we can dis we can kind of go back and forth. So another thing we need to do here is we go into our implements here. We want to go ahead and auto width here. That'll detect the width of the uh, implement we're using. You can also adjust it incrementally like so, if you wish. And we want to go ahead and turn the guidance steering on. And you know that it's on when you see the little green line behind you and in front of you. So I'm going to do a little bit of a turn here, and then I'm going to show you. So right now, the GPS is not on. So as you can see, it's just a white line in front of me. So then if I were to set the GPS, or just turn the uh, guiding steering on, control S to bring up the menu, and then turn it on, and then that would indeed just turn on the our uh, seater right here. Now there are other uh, controls for it that you can set up. So if you go into your key bindings, you can actually set up your key bindings in here which I believe are right at the bottom. Uh, right at the bottom, show guidance menu, uh, set guidance point, so you can ha adjust those ones as you see fit just in your uh, key bindings there. So now that I've set my AB point, basically I set my, turn my guidance steering on, and basically now it's gonna follow the line, that little, little line right there, the green line in front of you. So that's basically how you use the Jeep or guidance mo steering mod basically. So pretty simple stuff. Not too bad. That's the way it's done. My name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed. If you like the show, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more FS19 tutorial action. I'll catch you guys later.